As a web developer, handling media and assets is a crucial part of an application's infrastructure. Here's the good news. Cloudinary provides an easy way to store images, videos, and other files so that when used, you get a variety of other features out of the box, image optimization, AI analysis, and generative fill, among others, which can help deliver these assets in an easier, scalable, and more effective way. So why don't we check it out? So the Cloudinary Laravel SDK has an incredible amount of useful features that not only provide ways of abstracting how you upload files through Laravel and then into Cloudinary, but also gives you easy ways of using Laravel's facades out of the box to just upload those images to Cloudinary and then gives you easy ways of retrieving those files in the future. What we're going to look at today is the ability to upload files using the Cloudinary SDK, specifically this store on Cloudinary method right here. So we're going to use Laravel and Livewire to use a form to upload a file, in this case, an image, and then use this method helper store on Cloudinary using the Laravel Cloudinary SDK and upload it to Cloudinary so that we can then later retrieve that image and display it on the page. Now, of course, there's other ways to interact with Cloudinary using the Laravel SDK that they provide. We can attach the files directly to a Laravel Eloquent model, which is incredibly useful, especially if that model is always going to have a file attached to it of some sort. Or we can upload files via a Cloudinary widget that they provide for us out of the box. But for this video, we're going to be taking a look at the store on Cloudinary method and then how to use the files that we store and display it to our users. Currently, we have a dashboard view for our users to be able to add a product using a product form. This is as simple as adding a name, adding a description, a price, and then uploading this particular image that can be used to associate to that product. In this form, we're submitting to the add product method. We're taking the image and storing it to our public folder. Now let's use Cloudinary to hook it up to this product form so that any of our users who upload an image store that image directly on Cloudinary where we can deliver that image in a way that is applicable to that user. Not only will we be able to optimize that image, but we'll be able to utilize image attributes when we're displaying that image to our users. If we were to take a look at the products table, we see that we have an image URL and then an image public ID. These are going to be useful to us as we store this image from Cloudinary after we upload it to Cloudinary. In the product dashboard, instead of just using the image path and using the image URL with our asset storage facade, what we're going to do is actually use the URL that is given to us by Cloudinary after we upload it. So first, let's go ahead and upload the image to Cloudinary. Store on Cloudinary using the method that the Laravel Cloudinary SDK provides on the products folder. Then, since we need the image URL, as well as the image public ID to be able to retrieve that image when we're displaying it to our users, we're going to use the method provided in that Laravel Cloudinary SDK and grab that to push to the database. Our URL is Cloudinary Image Get Secure Path. And our public ID is Cloudinary Image Get Public ID. It's incredible that the Laravel Cloudinary SDK provides these methods for us out of the box. So that way we can retrieve an image and store these variables in our database for retrieval at a later time. Now let's change the image URL, the URL, and the image public ID to public ID. Let's go ahead and save this and let's test this form out. You can see that we have some neat loading attributes when we were uploading our image to Cloudinary. Since we have to wait a little bit for that image to actually be uploaded into Cloudinary and we're not saving it to our local file, what we're doing in our Laravel Livewire is saying that anytime we're waiting for that add product to complete, we're just showing this adding new product skeleton. Let's go ahead and add another product. And we can see that loading skeleton again, because we're waiting for that Cloudinary upload to go through. And that second new hat has been uploaded. To display the images, we're using the X Cloudinary image Laravel blade component that the Laravel Cloudinary SDK 
provides out of the box. This allows us to pass in the public ID and have Cloudinary retrieve that image for us. And that way we can use any kind of attribute that Cloudinary gives out of the box, such as Cartoonify. We can see in our Cloudinary Media Explorer, those images are being stored in the products folder. And just like that, we can use the Cloudinary Laravel SDK to easily store images or any files in Cloudinary and then retrieve them and deliver them to our users in any way, shape or form we want. Now that we've tackled images, why don't we take a look at how you can embed videos in HTML using Cloudinary's hosted video player.